Nicholas, author of the 21st Century Superhuman Book Series. And I'm here today with Marek. Marek, buenos dias, buenas tardes, buenas noches. We have Spanish and English in our family, <laughs> and we do a lot with those two languages. It's really fun. So today we're in, I guess, what you'd call the New Year's portal, right? And why do we call it a portal? The New Year portals? There's actually portals, but yeah. yes. Um, the first portal is me. The first portal is you. Mm -hmm. And we're all interconnected portals. So together we are the portal. And the portal is open. The portal is on in many, many different cycles, uh, starting from my own personal cycle and your personal cycle. And then we interjoin with everybody's, and then you get into the bigger cycles and the greater age that we're cycling in and it goes to and includes everything and here we are being the portal the portal is open yeah we really started talking about this around the solstice christmas the solstice that time of year when the sun sort of decreases in the northern hemisphere and part of the reason that the whole christmas story came up giving presents and was to kind of invite the sun back to call back the light because the light had diminished so much. And so during that time period, we talk a lot about the magic of that time, of how that time gives us the opportunity to let go of old things that don't belong in our lives anymore and to begin invoking new things that we want to call in as we kind of go through this transitional time. You can almost think of the darkness as a time of letting go. And we find the natural cycles coinciding with that. And even seeing it on in our natural lives uh, during, I noticed it with the Dia de Muertos and, and all that, those days where the veil is very thin. And then it goes on to the- And Dia de Muertos is for people who don't know Spanish. Is the day of the dead. And it's the day when it's, well, the tradition is that the dead ones come to visit the altar of the of the family, that they put the altar and put their pictures up. But it's what's called but, Halloween in the United States, right? And it's Halloween and Dia de Muertos, yes. And, uh, and then the All Saints Day, uh, which is then a day of light. And so it's, it's, it's the thinning of the veils and they're both at the same place. They're, they're intermingled and that's why the crossovers are so easy. That's really interesting when you start looking at it that way. We but start... then when you go off to the solstice, then the, that's a different size portal. It's a different depth of the portal and a different opening. And then the world even celebrates the time after the solstice and the heart openness of the, of the age is present and our hearts are opened and we feel that with each other. And it's a natural thing um, that has been converted to something else, but that's some, the point is to come back to the original opening of the portal and the energies that are open and here and present with all of us to connect with each other with open heartedness. And that's this, that's where I feel we are now. And that kind of really starts December 21st, right? That's the, the actual solstice idea and then um, and going into that time of the shortest day and the transition of the of the age or the era or the um, it's a shift in the whole setup of our our environment our ecology our world the flow of our of our life here and considering the great shift of the ages that we're in we're all changing including the earth well rather the earth is changing we're changing on her we're all doing it at the same time and this time we get to stay with her on this uh great shift um but that's another story <laughs> yeah so we can come from there back to new year's because we're coming you know to the end of what the calendar calls the year um but it's also a time of more light coming into this hemisphere. It's a time of awakening, a time of renewal and renewal of ourselves, renewal of our vision, renewal of our sense of purpose. And I feel that's something that we naturally do in the energetic that we're in. 
and I think the calendar was added later for other purposes, but we, in the natural cycle, we do that. And, and this is a, a step between steps. We're in a void between our last reality and our next reality, which hasn't really manifest yet. And so as we are during the voids is the foundation. It's the, it's the canvas for the painting that we're going to paint. Mm, wow. And so as we are now is the key to how our future is going to be. And of course, love and gratitude are on the high end of the chart. And feeling that is the trick. Being there in that space to magnetize that into manifestation. And because the truth is that it is us who paints the painting of our life. It is us who envisions, who purposes what will unfold next. And we infuse that into ourselves when we're conscious at this time of year, instead of making a big deal out of ball games and parties. Oh. Um, <laughs> I mean, that, that all sounds so foreign to us because it's not anything that we're doing, but that we use this time of year to paint within ourselves the, um, the images, the stories, the blessings, the caring for others, the caring for our world that we would like to have unfold in our lives mm -hmm. and how we see ourselves going forward in this coming year and what we want to let go of from the past year. It's a time of letting go and invoking the new. I really, that's kind of how I see a portal as well. A portal is where we, we go mm. from one dimension into the next or one dementia, as I like to call it, but <laughs> we have an old way of doing things, an old way of being. And when we go through the portal, it's an expansion. And we're expanding from that old way of being into a new, a new way of knowing and being. Mm -hmm. And as we are when we're releasing those things is important as well. Uh, we can choose to do it dramatically or we can choose to do it in love and kindness and, and, and in blessing. And can even choose grief. Yeah, if, right. Because you're never gonna see this again. This age is going away into, I don't know. And what, what stays is what you take with you. Beautiful, yes. <laughs> and, we take, and we take the good stuff. Yes. So feel that good stuff now and magnetize it into you and hold it and be there in this transition. And yeah. And in, in what, what you leave behind, what we leave behind, we can leave with love and blessing. We can leave all that has occurred. We can bless it. We can love it. We can love ourselves. We can feel joy for the life that we are living, the experiences that we've gained. You were just saying this morning how being here in this world, in this dimension is a way of, um, it's an experience. It's, a, it's an opportunity to put things into practice, to find out what happens, to learn, to grow. Mm -hmm. And then we can, um, and we go on to the next step from there. We can carry the learning with us. Spend time feeling it and actually experiencing what it's like to be, what you envision yourself being, having, um, doing. It's all part of it. And feeling it is the first part. And spending a few minutes in it, uh, if you're going to get to a place where you can really spend more time and feel it even more, do that to where you're embodying it completely. And again, this is the canvas that the future will be painted on. Because, you know, people tend to get busy this time of year. They get busy with friends, with family, with social obligations, um, you know, people, places to go, people to see, things to do. Mm -hmm. And we actually, we had a friend who sent us an amazing video from uh, Thailand of a monk over there that he was going to spend some time with. And so we ended up watching a few videos on that person and how beautiful it was to think about going inside and being mindful. And being mindful is watching, paying attention, 
but also going into the silence and not getting too distracted by all the things that can take us different directions in this world. That was very interesting. As we were speaking of maintaining <laughs> yourself in the midst of the storm, the phone rang. Right. <laughs> and I had to choose whether to listen, get pulled away, or to stay present. <laughs> it was a chore. And That's so right. having a bunch of things to do is overwhelming. So give yourself a break. Give yourself uh, a breath. Just remember to breathe. <laughs> well, in the future, we'll talk about um, a lot of some of the things that we do for ceremony once a month on the full moon, on the full moon or the new moon. A lot of times we'll write on a piece of paper what we're letting go of, what we're calling in and do a little burning ceremony. And it's just a way to um, actually physically, I don't know, do the process, externalize mm -hmm. the process a little bit. Pull some hairs and put it in with it. Make sure your DNA is saying to the universe, this is me. This is my signature. This yeah. is who I am. And I'm stating my piece. Right. And I'm just being there for the universe to express who I am. And you state all that you, you that all that comes out is what and who you are. Right. And rituals are one of the ways that we remind ourselves of things. Like when we brush our teeth every day, get up in the morning, go to sleep at night. Though at those ritual times, we can remember to remind ourselves to stay centered, to stay clear, to think of our vision over all of the distractions that pull on us in the world to practice being the eye of the hurricane so that when you're in a hurricane, you're good. There you go. <laughs> well, listen, we, we wish you all well. It's been a crazy last couple of years um, with everything that's gone on. And I haven't been broadcasting as much, but this is a kickoff to a new year. And we're going to start broadcasting regularly 21st Century Superhuman, our 21st Century Superhuman cha channel on Twitch. Um, we'll be doing some everyday things of what do we make when we get up in the morning? How do we feed ourselves? What you like to call temple secrets, right? Temple food, temple living. And yes, she has temple secrets <laughs> and they're all good. It's like a Mary Poppins bag of magic tricks. <laughs> so we're going to just start putting some things out every day so that you can follow and begin integrating a more healthy life, a more aware life, a more conscious life. Um, I've got on a little pendant that has plasma in it, and I spent a number of years traveling and teaching plasma technology. So we'll have some really cool things on that, how you can make items for your house that will help protect and enhance health and raise the frequency. Raise the frequency, harmonize. That's right. With Mother Earth, with nature, with where you are. Very cool. Very cool stuff. So we wish you all well at the transition of this cycle and that you have clearing, awakening, that you feel from the heart um, the blessings of your own life and how to take those the next step. Be where you are. Be who you are. Love, love. Yes, yes. Okay. Adios. We'll see you soon. <laughs>